Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Memorial of Blessed Sedislava Barkiana. Blessed Sedislava was born in Moravia around the year 1220. As a wife and mother, she provided well for her own family and was also known as a loving mother of the poor. She received the Dominican habit and together with her husband, helped to build up the order in Bohemia. Renowned for his service to the poor, she died in 1252. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Please be seated. O God, all your ways are holy. What God, what God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God, that He may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? We will show us His favor no more. Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy, or in anger withhold His compassion? I said, This is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works, and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. But God is great as our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled around the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart lifts up with joy to the Lord, for He humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. 
speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the totter and dirt on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes riches. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor, to seat them with nobles, and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail, the Lord's force shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders, the Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All your spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted for above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Faithful God, by your married life and works of charity, you taught Saint Sedislava to pursue the way of perfection. By her prayers, may family life be strengthened and be a witness to Christian virtue. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seeds remain in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his neighbor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice, 
and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John was standing with the two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, come and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and follow Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At kagabi po ay nag-search po ako kung ano po yung mga top oldest universities in the world at anong date sila nag-start. Nakita ko po doon yung pinakamatanda ay University of Bologna sa Italy noong 1088. So, medyo ang tagal na, no? Ilang taon na lang, eh, magwa 1,000 years na sila. Second po dito ay University of Oxford sa UK noong 1098. Sumunod po ang University of Salamanca sa Spain na estimated po na naitayo noong 1134. And University of Parino sa France, estimated date po ay 1160. So, medyo matagal, ano? Sa Pilipinas po at sa Asia, ang pinakamatagal po ay UST, no? 1611. Bakit ko tinignan? Tinignan ko po kung bakit or kung paano po ang nagkaroon o nag-start ang public learning institutions. No? Kailan nagsimula, nag-offer ng mga iba't ibang courses ng mga universities and school. No? At nakita ko nga po ito, no? Marami pa po yan, hindi ko na po babanggitin, no? At nakita ko nga po na iba ang mode of learning noong time ni Jesus Christ. Hindi gaya ngayon na may face-to-face, -face, may online, may Zoom meeting. Noon po kasi kailangan mong pumunta sa isang magaling na professional at para doon ka matuto, ma-absorb mo lahat ng mga kaalaman niya, yung kanyang karunungan. Halimbawa, meron doktor na magaling at gusto mong matuto, Maaring pupunta ka doon. No? Maswerte ka siguro kung may kamag-anak ang doktor, matuturuan ka. No? Noon din po, ganun din ang mga formation ng mga seminaries. Wala namang formal seminaries pa po noon na house. Kailan lang naman po yan. Ano? At dati po, kung may kakilala kang gaya po ni St. Dominic, Natuto siya sa kanyang uncle priest, yung tito niyang pare. 
At nung natuto na siya at nagkaroon ng kaalaman, sabi niya gusto niya maging pare, nag-aral po siya sa University of Palencia. At doon, nag-aral siya ng Arts and Theology. Ganon din po noon, kung gusto mong matutong magluto, maging magaling na chef, at may kilala kayo, talagang pupunta ka sa bahay nila. Kasi ang importante noon, hindi yung institution o hindi yung mga facilities na ino-offer, kundi yung mismong teacher, yun yung source of information and knowledge. Ganun po. Kaya sa ating ibanghelyo, ang ganda nung ating ano, makikita na natin paano natututo ang mga tao noon. Kasi si John the Baptist, sabi po dito, meron siyang dalawang disciples. Sabi niya, nung naglalakad si Jesus sa kanyang public ministry, sabi niya, siya ang kordero ng Diyos. Siya ang Lamb of God. At yung dalawang disciples ni John the Baptist, sumunod kay Jesus. Pero kasi pag sinabing disciple, ang root word niyan sa Latin ay discipulus, na ang ibig sabihin ay student, learner, o follower. Just imagine, follower na sila ni John the Baptist, sumunod sila kay Jesus. Kasi siguro sinasabi din ni John the Baptist na he is greater than him. So sumunod sila. Ngayon, ito yung conversation. Ang tanong ngayon ni Jesus sa kanila, What are you looking for? Ano bang hinahanap nyo? Power ba? Position ba? Pera ba? Pero anong sagot ng dalawang disciples? Ang isa po dito si Andrew. Anong sagot niya? Sabi nila, Rabbi means teacher. Where are you staying? Saan ka nakatira? Ano sagot ni Jesus? Come, follow me. Sa so, itong conversation na itong tanong, Rabbi, where are you staying? Saan ka nakatira? Doon pa lang makikita natin na gusto nilang matuto. Gusto nilang matuto ng lahat ng bagay, no? lalo na sa mga religion. No? Tungkol kay Jesus, tungkol sa Diyos. Kaya sila nagtanong, saan ka nakatira? So ano sagot ni Jesus? Come, follow me. Sumunod ka sa akin. No? Ganun po. Dahil noon naman nga po, sabi ko, walang mga public learning institutions. At dahil si Jesus, siguro na mangha sila sa galing ng kanya preaching, sa nakita nilang mga uh, miracles, sa nakita nilang mga pagsasalita, pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. Alam niyo po, isa sa mga kilala ko na talagang may passion for studies ay si Santo Domingo. Si Santo Domingo po yung nasa kanan po ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag dito po sa aking likod. Yung nakakulay white and black po. Nandun yung kanyang passion. Pero kasi meron naman siyang purpose. Bakit kailangan mag-aral? Sapagkat during those times, matindi po yung kinakaharap ng simbahan pagdating sa mga, mala, mga maling turo. No? May mga albigensians. Ito yung mga sekta na nagtuturo ng maling katuruan. Imagine niyo kayo, mabibigla din kayo. 800 years ago, ito ang pinag-uusapan nila. Ang mga albigensians, hindi sila naniniwala sa Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Para sa kanila, may dalawang Diyos lang. May Sinasabi silang bad God and good God. Yung bad God sa Old Testament. Yung good God sa New Testament. Hindi sila naniniwala kay Kristo para sa kanila masama si Kristo. At ang mga prophets, nireject din nila yung sacraments. Lahat ng sacraments except the sacrament of matrimony. So imagine niyo sa Europe, yan ang pinag-uusapan. At si St. Dominic, dahil may kaalaman siya, alam niya na kailangan mag-aral ng mga brothers, kaya no, na-form niya yung order of preachers, sinabi niya mag-aral kayo sa first community. Mahirap man na magkahiwahiwalay, pero kailangan yung mag-aral para may sabihin kayo. ba? Diba? E imagine niyo po, kaming mga Dominicas, kung hindi po, o mga pare, kung hindi kami nag-aral at mag-aaral, ano na lang sasabihin namin dito sa pulpit? Ano na lalabas sa bibig namin? Ano? Hindi naman puro dapat experience o puro personal. Ano, no? Kailangan din na tungkol sa Diyos. At may matutunan din yung tao. At lalo dapat align sa turo ng simbahan. So, ganun po ang nangyari kay St. Dominic. 
mahalaga sa kanyang mag-aral, kaya yung first community at nagkasunod-sunod na po studies for preaching, for the salvation of souls. May purpose po. Kaya kung kayo po ay nag-aaral ngayon, huwag niyong sayangin yung pagkakataong mag-aaral kayo. Mag-aaral po kayo dahil sayang. Ano? Kung ikaw ay nag-aaral ng doktor, magpakadalubhasa ka para na sa gano'ng may lumapit sa iyong mga tao, gustong gumaling, di ba? matulungan mo sila sa kanilang dinadalang sakit, no? yung kanilang pain. Kung kayo po ay mga engineers, gawin nyo yung trabaho nyo. Baka mamaya, magtatayo kayo ng building, eh biglang bumaksak. Mahina ang foundation. So, kailangan natin mag-aral. Tuloy-tuloy po. At least alam natin kung ano yung purpose natin. Si Santo Domingo po ay naging successful. Wala na kasing mga albigensians eh. Diba? Wala na itong mga nagtuturo ng maling, maling katuruan. Kaya naging successful siya. Ganun po. Sana maging successful din tayo sa ating pag-aaral. Na may purpose. Yun po. Tayo po yung magsitayo. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, help us to do Your will. Lord, help us to do Your will. That God may continue to call women and men of faith to serve as ministers in our local church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do Your will that our families and friends may respond fully to the call of our baptism and accept the grace to remain open to God's call to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. That young people may persevere in hope, trusting in God's faithfulness to them as they search for deeper meaning in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may realize that God's work is being done in the circumstances of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. For the prior provincial and for our brothers in ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. That the dead may rest in peace in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. God, our Creator, we thank you for the blessings of this day. Let our trust in you be manifested in our lives, that we may be free to respond to you with full hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, we praise and bless you today for St. She walked in the way of our Holy Father, Dominic. You led her into the path of perfection, nourished by the Dominican life and by the sacraments of faith, ardent for the salvation, labored with apostolic zeal to lead all women and men into the fullness of your truth. Through our celebration, we are inspired to imitate her and are strengthened into our vocation as preachers. Now, in company with the saints and angels, we praise you forever. Oh. of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng kumunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng kumunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. He finds one of great value and gives all that he has to possess it. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. To pr he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The kingdom of God is like a merchant seeking fine pearls, he finds one of great value and gives all that he has to possess it. Let us pray. All-powerful God, fill us with your light and love by the sacrament we receive on the feast of Saint Sedislava Berkiana. May we burn with love for your kingdom and let our light shine before men. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Tayo po ngayon ay mananalangin para sa mga may sakit. Ganon din po sa lahat po ng mga dala ninyong rosaries and other religious articles. Pwede nyo na pong ilabas sa inyong mga lalagyan. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
and prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, crucifix, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.